Saw another post today. My van won't start. What do I do? Well, let's start by identifying what you mean by won't start. When you turn the key, does it make any noise at all? Turn the key and nothing happens. Nothing lights up. Or maybe the dashboard lights up, but nothing else happens. That's usually a very severely dead battery. For the purpose of our video today, we'll pretend this was corroded and we had a bad bad connection here. So we're going to take that apart, clean it up, wire brush, whatever you've got. Uh, an old rag, something uh, if you use a rag on a battery terminal, that rag is going to rot away. So make sure it's something you can throw away when you're done. Get good connections there. You can pour Coca-Cola on them to clean them up if that's what you've got. Uh, they tell me that works really good. I've never used it myself. So we'll uh, try again. Action. Another fairly common problem is a start error. You can see the key comes on, dashboard lights up, everything looks good, but it says start error. And turning the key doesn't do any good. Now that, that is usually a problem with the Scream, S-K-R-E-E-M. It's hidden up here underneath this plastic panel. Uh, the Scream works off of an antenna that is around here and talks to the chip inside this key. Now, the way I'm making this the way I'm making this problem happen today, is I'm using the key to the wrong truck. This is the solar van you've seen in our other videos. Assuming it it did more than click and it turns over, not quite as severe as the battery being dead. Kind of like this. And it doesn't start. We've got more to look at. Does the tachometer bounce? It does not. So the tachometer comes up a little bit now. That tells us our crank sensor is working. So underneath the van, way up here, There's the starter, and above the starter is the crank position sensor. The little clip is underneath the elbow here, up underneath this side. Got to push that clip and then pull it up. So this is the cam sensor right here, and without that, your engine won't start. Now if I try and crank, provisionally synchronized in terms, that, that, that means it should start. Checking voltage is a useful diagnostic tool. I know a lot of you don't have a voltmeter, get one, they're not that expensive and it's useful quite often. Right now we're gonna check the voltage on our battery because it's cranking slow and not starting. Well, I've got 12, 12.3 volts. That should be good for starting. So I'm gonna leave that connected. I've pulled this hose clamp loose We're gonna pull this, pull this hose out a little bit. And, yep, key on. And we have no fuel coming out of that fuel pump, uh, fuel filter. There is an electric in tank pump on the 04, 05, 06 Sprinter, and just turning on that key should give us a squirt of fuel there that we are not getting. And as you can see, that's going to keep applying pressure for several seconds even after the key is turned off in there. That's this bottom round dimple here on your fuel tank, that's where the pump is at. The pump sits into that. 
So if you can hold your hand on that while somebody turns on the key, you can probably feel that vibration right there. Uh, Mike's going to stay here and listen to the tank. <laughs> Number 19 says fuel pump. Number 19 is right here. And that fuse is good. Never hurts to look at the surrounding ones. I think, yeah, this one's just heater control panel. Anyhow, ignition is the one above it. We know we're getting ignition. So those fuses are all good anyhow. So that's not it. That relay kicks the fuel pump on when it works. Yeah, I definitely feel it click. Sometimes your first relay will be over here. They don't all have this. So I'm gonna pull that relay out. Make sure it's the same as this one. So I'm gonna put the dirty one that we just pulled out over there into here. and put this one over here and if this fixes my problem I'll order a new one of those and replace this one back here but this one will keep our, our van running for the while that's in and we test Ta -da! we've got a couple of relays to be concerned with Oh. This relay is your starter. So if you turn the key and everything clicks on the dash like it should, but you don't get any... Monkey with this relay, see if it clicks when you turn into the start position. It should, you should be able to feel that click and hear that click. This relay is for your fuel pump and that was our trouble today. As you can see, we can exchange that with a relay from up front here where there's a whole strip of them. All right, so I've disabled the start by disconnecting the cam sensor at the top of the engine. And I want to show you the rail pressure on, when you're starting. So you see how it took a while for that to come up? The display is a little bit delayed. If you don't have rail pressure, uh, it's not going to start. So what we discovered here is after trying to start the van a couple of times with the wrong key, Ignition keys don't seem to be very picky on these vans. I've found that several of my keys will turn the ignition in several of my vans. Not a very secure situation. But after using the wrong key to start the van several times, it seems to have locked us out. What is this, Windows? In order to unlock it, we had to do as uh, my, my favorite saying, when in doubt, take the battery out, pop the battery terminal off for a couple of seconds, let the computer reset, plug it back in, started the van with its own proper key and we're back in business. Lesson to be learned there is if you're fighting with a start error, uh, when you fix the problem, you're not going to see the symptoms go away right away. You need to reset the battery perhaps, reset the ECM by disconnecting the battery for a few minutes. And if I were starting with a start error, knowing what I know now, I'd disconnect that battery every time I had to think for a minute. We hope this video gets you back on the road. Always start by listening to the van. It's telling you some clues. The crank and cam sensors are pretty common issues, especially when the van is warmed up. The cam sensor can be a problem that'll let you go again as soon as the engine cools down. Fuel delivery system problem, and that can be the fuel pump, the filter, the rail, the injectors, could be a leaky hose, a lot more to get into there. Maybe we'll do a whole other video about that. Please give us a like on this video. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and we look forward to making more videos for you.